Have you ever come across a key in DMZ while doing missions and you kind of want to hold on to it but end up leaving it there because maybe you don't want to drop armor for it and besides you don't know where it goes to. But then you're left wondering was that really the right decision? Or have you ever run into a bunch of high tier loot items but then have to leave some behind because you just can't carry it all? Well in this video we're going to go over how to kind of be able to bring an infinite amount of items around the map with you in Almasra so we don't have that problem anymore. Why I'm saying kind of infinite will be clear in a second because it just kind of depends on how TMZ is feeling that day. This trick also works in battle royale in certain situations and can be useful if let's say you and another team fight and you eliminate the other team but then your teammates all die as well. Well you can use this trick to carry all of your teammates custom weapons with you so when they come back they can get their custom weapons instantly. But it's a bit more useful in DMZ in my opinion especially for grinding out some of the later tier missions. As I was driving around the DMZ DMZ running over the AI, I noticed after running one of them over, their gun stayed on the hood as I kept driving. Maybe some of you see where this is going now. So if their gun stays there, what about other items? And it turns out yes, yes they do. So what this means is that with a little bit of micromanaging our inventory, we can basically bring along as much loot as we want with you anywhere you go by dropping items on top of a vehicle. To bring it with you. No more having to decide whether you should keep that key or stow away gas for your vehicle. You can just drop the gas can on top and be on your way. No more having to decide between armor, ammo boxes, and self revives. You can just have them all. Now, I mentioned earlier that it's kind of infinite, and that's because sometimes the loot does disappear. Why? Well, it's unclear. It doesn't seem to be timed because, in this instance, one of the gas cans disappeared after only about three minutes. There was a squad that came and tried to take my vehicle. Not sure if that had any effect. On it but in this test the item lasted 20 minutes. In this other test the items disappeared only after I exited the vehicle and went into the stronghold so you might think that maybe getting out of the vehicle or distance would affect it but here I left and went on the train looted a bit fought some AI was well over 600 meters away and came back and the loot was still there. So for these reasons it truly does seem to just be random and in the hands of the DMZ gods. Now what about when the vehicle gets destroyed? What happens to the items? Do they they stay there. Aside from armor randomly staying sometimes, it looks like no items also get destroyed with the explosion. With that in mind, that does make this trick a bit situational, but if you stumble across the right conditions and use a strong vehicle, then it can definitely be a time saver. 